Hey everyone, uh, like I said before, I'd be continuing on, and I did tell a little fib in my last review. Uh, it wasn't my last Real Tech review. These two guys are going to be my last Real Tech reviews. Uh, and as you can see, they are of Rodimus, or Hot Rod, or whatever his name is, and Megatron. Uh, the reason why I'm doing these two guys at the same time is because there's not that much difference in terms of uh, the way they're molded, I suppose. Uh, when I get to them, you'll see what I mean. So first, uh, we will start off with... Let's start off with Rodimus. Or Hot Rod, or... Oh, Megatron did not like that decision. Right. Anyways, uh, the box actually does say Hot Rodimus. I don't know. Don't ask me, guys. Anyways, so Rodimus himself is not a bad figure, actually. Uh, it's a very nice, uh, very nice representation of his robot mode. Uh, you can see there's some details of his car mode. Uh, you can tell right here by the wheels, chest, and the spoiler from the back. Uh, as you see, one of his accessories is a gun. He comes with quite a few accessories, actually. And now that I think about it... I missed one. Give me one second, guys. Ah. There we go. All set. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I realized I actually missed... As you can see in the box right there, I don't have their stands. Let me get those set up right now. So with these stands, you can get some great dynamic poses. Especially for Megatron, you can make him flying or uh, something like that. <clears throat> anyway, so on to Rodimus. It does come with interchangeable hands. comes with um, two sets of interchangeable hands. Uh, one set, of course, is fists, and as you can see, there's no peg. It's because I broke it. Maybe n not five minutes before I started this review. Uh, I realized that with these older Revo Techs, the peg, as you can see, is just glued in there. It's not molded. It's not a peg like uh, the newer Revil Techs have, with a smaller Revil Tech joint. And as I was trying to swap out his hand to have his gun hand, I pulled the hand out, of course, but not with the peg. This is the second one I've broken. I'll show the first one off right now. And this is his other uh, gun hand. Uh, obviously, he could do wield his two pistols. Uh, the pistols right here. So I've got two broken hands. Pretty. I'm not really upset because this is actually a pretty old figure. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when these guys came out, but as you can tell by the boxes, they're old Revil decks. Uh, it comes with another hand, a pointing hand. Uh, I guess you could point to Megatron and say, Hey, you there, stop! Or I have to put, bust a cap in your... Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyways. Then he comes with a thumbs-up hand. As well. Okay, yeah, yeah, We busted some deceptive chops, or whatever. Better. It also comes with another head. Uh, this one has two eyes. I know guys, I've really got to get a better camera. One that preferably has lots of zoom, but I can't do that right now. Anyways, I'll that off, and then his other head has one with a visor down. Now, I'm pretty sure that's how you, that, that's how you tell the difference between the two of Hot Rod and Rodimus. To me, I have no idea who's who. 
personally they all look the same to me and Rodimus or Hot Rod was only introduced in uh, the 1986 I believe the 1986 movie two years before I was born anyway and then actually saw me uh, Peg Rodimus on too he comes with a stand it's got a real tech joint up here the idea is you just plug it right there which considering where it's located yeah quite funny or I don't know personally though I don't like the way the uh, the peg hole where the peg hole is located it's only because I would like to pose them standing you know not in the air like Well, I guess we could... Here, let me try something here. A famous... I guess that could work. There. Not too bad. So let's, uh, set him off to the side and let's move on to Megatron. Megatron is... my favorite of the two. Uh, specifically because, well, he's Megatron. Come on. That, and also he's the best representation of a Megatron figure I currently own. Comes, uh, he's very nicely detailed. And he's got the gun barrel on the side here. He's got the fusion cannon right here, or the scope. And... As I was saying before, how they are not that much different. Let me give you a close-up. As you can see, there's a uh, there's a lot of similarities between the two. Uh, specifically in the forearms, how they're molded, as opposed to Hot Rod does have the spoil uh, the exhaust pipes here. But again, not much difference. The thighs, the feet, the hands. A lot of it's pretty similar. And that goes, I believe, with all the Transformers Real Techs uh, a few years back. I think they, they released Optimus, G1 Optimus, G1 Starscream, and Ultra Magnus, and these two guys. <clears throat> uh, like with Rodimus, uh, he does come with a stand. Peg here, so you can peg him. Uh, peg him onto the base, and he does come with the hole. Oh, sorry, actually, oh, no hole. Hang on, guys. I think I mix, mix, or messed something up. Give me a second. Yes, I did. For some reason, I thought he came with a stand. He does not. Megatron only comes with four other accessories. Another head. One head. <clears throat> Anyways, it comes with another head. This head being a stern expression, an angry expression. Yeah, I won't be able to show that off due to... Oh, there we go. And the other head. Oh, I'm just kind of showing. It comes with, um... I believe that's supposed to be a sinister grin. Uh, the face sculpt on Megatron isn't... great. There's something just off-putting about the two sculpts that don't really scream megatron -y to me. Now, of course, they are Megatron. But there's just something about them that doesn't seem right. Uh, moving on, he comes with three hands. Uh, two pair of hands, which are open palm like this. An instrument... Uh, 
interestingly enough, he comes with a hand that can hold a gun. Right here. So I can plug Rodimus's extra gun. And now I would take his hand out and plug it in here. But due to the way due to the way the uh, the hands are made on these older figures, I might end up breaking it. So there we have it. There's uh, Megatron and Rodimus. Um, oh, forgot, I did forget one thing. Their posability. Posability is pretty decent. Uh, uh, Real tech joints pretty much everywhere. Uh, you got Megatron's got two in the head. Yeah, one at the base of the head, and again one at the base of the neck, just inside the body there. Uh, shoulders, uh, elbows, torso, uh, thighs, knees, and ankles. So pretty poseable. Actually, you can tell from the box that they do some great, some great poses. This one, for some reason, I like a lot. I'll just leave it at that. But there we have Revoltech Megatron and Rodimus, or Hot Rodimus, as the box says. Uh, now, these two figures, I believe, are hard to come by now. But when I did some searching on eBay for the Optimus Prime, these guys are still pretty cheap to cheap. Optimus, I believe, is one of the most expensive Revil Techs of this Transformers line to come by. Uh, I'm not talking about the new Optimus, not the Optimus Prime from the movie Dark of the Moon. Remember, I'm talking about the G1 Optimus Prime, which was released, released in this series, but I do not know. Let's see if I can find a year on here for you guys. Hmm... Sorry guys, I won't be able to tell you exactly when these guys are out. But I got lucky and I found these two guys at a toy uh, at a toy show. Sorry, I found him at a toy show and I found him at a local comic shop when I was in Victoria, which is not exactly local. Pardon my part of my screw up right there. But hopefully you enjoyed this review. Uh, I know it was pretty pretty lackluster to be with these two guys because I'm not too thrilled about these guys as opposed to my other Revil Techs. Like I said, there's something off-putting about these two and I still cannot think about it. But anyways, they're good, solid figures overall. Great representations of the figures. Uh, especially Megatron. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that review. And stay tuned. I have another one coming up.